here's a look outside right now at our station here in South Fargo. You can see that we still have those clouds overhead and it's going to be a gray afternoon ahead of us today as well. The good thing is, is that the rain has stopped for most of us in the valley. We could still see some sprinkles, but we're kind of taking a break from that additional moisture that just seems to have kept coming at us and causing issues with flooding out there. And we are keeping an eye on our river levels uh, through the valley. We've got flood warnings up and down the Red River. The current uh, stage in Fargo at 23.38 feet right now. So right at uh, kind of leveling off and is expected to go down here in the next couple of days or start to drop uh, here coming up. Now the Red River and Grand Forks still rising, fluctuating a little bit, but still expected to reach 41.2 feet coming up in a couple of days as well. So here's a look at all those flood warnings up and down the Red River, its tributaries as well. I do want to mention that we have some rain showing up on the radar. You take a look at the green area here in Devil's Lake. Haven't seen any reports of rain, but still there may be a little mist, maybe some sprinkles coming down that are actually making it to the surface. And this is part of a disturbance that's been mainly moving to the north of us in Canada. And it is weakening a bit as it moves eastward, but it's something we want to keep an eye on here. Very light stuff, just enough, I think, to be a nuisance for us here as we head into the afternoon hours today. Temperatures into the mid-30s to some low 40s right now. It's 41 in Fargo, 38 in Grand Forks. Our winds are light, starting to make that southerly turn out west already. And as we take a look at our hour by hour planner, again, we've got some mostly cloudy skies, that moisture to the northwest. Notice as we move into the afternoon how it kind of just falls apart. So again, not looking at this being very impressive at all. But in addition to that, we'll clear things out a little out to the west. Better chances at getting some sunshine around Devil's Lake and Jamestown before that sun sets around 630 this evening. Heading into the evening hours, that clearing sky continues to make its way eastward by 10 o'clock. More of us seeing some clear skies. Temperatures still hanging on to the mid to upper 30s. And just around that time, that south wind starts to kick in more as we head into the overnight hours. And that should keep our temperatures from bottoming out too much. We'll still see some places dip down into the freezing range, uh, but we could be a lot colder with the snowpack in place in the north and west. And in addition to that, the clear skies too. So we, we get that south wind helping us out. And that's actually going to help to warm us up as we head into the day tomorrow. One thing to mention though, where we still have that snow hanging around, we could end up with some fog developing by morning. But watch as we head into the afternoon, that erodes, kind of falls apart, and we end up with some sunshine in a lot of those places uh, by the afternoon hours tomorrow. And check out these temperatures, some 40s in that area where we're dealing with more fog and, and snow on the ground, but most places getting into the 50s tomorrow, perhaps even into the upper 50s in spots with lots of sunshine as well. And then continuing into the 10 o'clock hour, uh, we're still looking pretty good, but breezy, though, on your Thursday evening. We'll be seeing those gusts getting above 30 miles per hour. Check out Friday back into the low 60s. We may see a weak front move through Friday night and into Saturday. Can't rule out a sprinkle or two with that, but it shouldn't change things too much for us heading into the weekend. We'll see temperatures a uh, pretty mild Saturday and into Sunday, especially when we compare it to last Friday and Saturday. That was tough. So uh, looking pretty good here ending the week with some relatively dry conditions. We're keeping an eye on a more substantial system that'll be moving in Sunday and into Monday for more rain up ahead. But again, it's nice to see a few days in a row where we can actually dry out and take a breather. It just makes you smile looking at it. I know the sun I think is really going to help a lot of people's moods tomorrow. All right. Thank you, Lisa. Straight ahead.